A potentially embarrassing secret from Mike Pence's past has emerged. He was a cartoonist in college. While attending Indiana University, the VP candidate drew political cartoons for his law school newspaper. The strip, which ran in the mid-80s, starred the governor's alter ego, ego, Law School Days. We hired a top voiceover actor at great cost to bring the cartoons to life. Please enjoy. One day in criminal law. <laughs> I love that class. Pat, unlawful deviant conduct is not that funny. More, please. <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Days. How are you this morning? I, I'm sorry, Professor. I don't have, have my briefs with me. Relax, Days. I asked how you were. Me? Oh, I'm fine. I think that... I don't care what you think. I wouldn't know what the court thinks. <laughs> okay, I, I can't get enough of these. One, one more. I'm so glad nobody nominated me for any of these senior awards. Really? Sure, I guess I just don't see the point in gathering a bunch of hardware that just collects dust. I'm just here for the degree. I don't need all that back slapping. I guess I'm just above that. I voted for you. Gosh, really? Do you think? No. Whew. Whew. Well, <laughs> Matt, the obvious comparison here is... I think early Doonesbury. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're all thinking. Yeah, I mean, it, just, it hasn't completely fleshed itself out right. yet. Uh, we don't have a Zonker uh, Harris uh, <laughs> right. character sure. just yet, sadly. Uh, and it, the, the like every single 1980s college bad college comic, and I repeat myself, uh, it had to have days. It had to be days. <laughs> right. There was like five years of mm -hmm. the, the shoulder pads that you had back then and everything like that. It just five years where everything went wrong. Why didn't you days. point at me when you talked about the shoulder pads? That's a good question, because you yeah. had the members-only jacket. Oh, you damn right I had yeah. the, the members-only jacket. Several members only. <laughs> they came in different colors. I mean, did you go purple? Did you go, I didn't go purple? Brown? I, didn't, well, I definitely had black. Yeah. Because you had to. And then I might have had, a, I think, a blue and maybe a silver. Okay, your career is going to be over yeah. by the time this uh, episode, I think, is. Uh, uh, my career was is. over long before tonight. <laughs> that, that's Don't an excellent point. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, uh, it's, it, Esquire tried to make a big deal out of this. It's obviously not a big deal. No. Uh, the only thing that's, uh, that, that bothers me is that he uses the word bummed. He spells bummed with a B, which, uh, which is uh, very disturbing. And then he's drawing himself as a. Uh, Annoying middle-aged man already when he's in the right. hospital, yeah. which is a curious thing. Yeah. Sam, is it just me though, or uh, to me, Pence is becoming the most fun of the four people on the tickets? Well, I he is, and part of that is because this lack of self-awareness that's happening. Like, I think that there's nothing creepier than unfounded confidence. Like when you just see people <laughs> that are just blindly confident. Because mm -hmm. I could maybe pass off why he would make one of these. But the fact that there are so many means like he's like, I'm on a roll. <laughs> the, 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 the part that gives me the chills the most watching that, and especially when we watch it on the screen, is like you can see that he actually signed his name to them. Mm -hmm. It says Pence right. at the bottom of the comic yeah, sure. like, Just in case anybody tries to take credit yeah. for these. Yeah, got to be all Pence. Got to be proud of your work, man. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. exactly. Remy, as a lawyer and someone who presumably went to law school, though I don't know for a fact <laughs> that you did, uh, did, you get a, did you get a little chuckle out of these? Uh, did they bring back memories? Uh, yeah, that, what made me laugh was that they had a newspaper with cartoons in law school. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was no such thing when I went to school. Uh -huh. uh, the cartoons are kind of silly. I think um, you're right. He is becoming the, the funny one. Yeah. But, you know, I think it has to... It's a little bit of deflecting. We're, we're taking a focus off of some of his policies and right. some of his previous decisions so we can laugh at him. Right. But That's the worst part, by the way, that this is like the all work and no play makes Mike a dull boy. This uh, is his idea of, like, I have a fun side, too, exactly. guys. Exactly, and I think he does. If the vice president thing doesn't work out for him, does he have a future as a comedy writer? No. Really? <laughs> wow. What? Yeah. Oh, come on. He wasted a perfectly good underwear joke. <laughs> I, that's where I thought it was furious. Yeah. It started out good. Yeah. It was, I forgot my brief. Exactly. And you would think a college professor would say something like, well, I hope you wore your boxers. Right, exactly. You know what I mean? Yes. Or your free ball <laughs> right. today. Right. Uh, right? Like, it's an easy underwear joke. Yeah. And then he went somewhere where a guy is yelling and pointing. Shouldn't he get credit for that, though? No. He didn't take the easy joke. I don't like him, man. <laughs> okay. okay? You I want the easy like joke. I, I want the easy joke, and I don't want Mike Pence. I'm, right. I'm, I'm not into this Pence, and I don't like the way See? his face looks. Really? <laughs> he looks like a Mormon Colonel Sanders. 
<laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Mormon shaved? Is that the thing? <laughs> also, that sounds like a delightful look to me, so I don't yeah, know. It's too delightful. All right. Uh, Matt, in the past couple of days, Pence has gone places and not been recognized. He had, uh, we talked about this on the show the other night. He went to a barber shop, which I believe was actually in his home state of Indiana, wow. where he is governor, and they didn't recognize him. And then he was in a North Carolina tavern, I think, on Thursday, and talking to a woman and her son, and they didn't recognize him either. I find all of this endearing. I, I, I'm, I'm, I've never been more proud of America. Yeah. Uh, that they can't recognize my yeah. pants. And hopefully, you know, who's the Secretary of Labor? Anyone? Robert Come. Reich. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Just he not. was, though. Wasn't he? he was. Okay. I thought you made a little uh, position. Yeah. <laughs> There's, a There's something secretary? totally healthy about that. Donald Trump talks about Mike Pence in the Republican convention in his nomination speech, talked about him for. 54 words. Yeah. Mm. There was two sentences, and it was, uh, and it was all along the lines of a, uh, and that's why I uh, nominated this guy. He's a great conservative, uh, Mike Pence. Yeah. Uh, and uh, anyway, so uh, it was basically a tweet. Yeah. Yeah. It was the length of a tweet. Uh, he, it's, he's, it, this campaign is so not about Mike Pence. Yeah. It's incredible. And I think that's why I like Mike Pence. Remy, do you like Mike Pence? You no. Sure? Nobody, uh, no, why I am don't I the like only one? I don't agree with his policies. I don't care about his policies. I just like I him. I think that some of his positions <laughs> are hateful. They're mean-spirited. But not, other than right? the hateful, yeah. mean-spirited positions, don't you like him? No. No, okay. because who would agree to stand in the shadows of Donald Trump to, you know, compromise some of his positions just so he can trail behind mm. on the the coattails of right. Donald Trump. No, thank you. If a jerk nominates you mm. as vice president. No, I would not. Mm. No. You would say no? I'm pretty sure your, your governor would do that. I'm pretty sure he would have. He I'm has sure done he it. expected that to happen. Yes. But no, I would not. All right. We're going to move on since all of you are pinch haters. <laughs>